Hey guys, Chip here with Main Street Mower, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to install an aftermarket hour meter on your Toro time cutter. This is a great little feature. It helps you keep track of things like service intervals, how many hours you have in the engine, oil, all those things are gonna be information you kind of uh, are gonna rely on that hour meter to help you know when to do, right? So like an oil change on this, we recommend a break-in oil change around 10 hours, and then in Florida, it's a little hotter, so we recommend every 50 hours after that, and that's gonna be really hard to keep track of just if you're trying to keep track in your mind. So having an hour meter installed is gonna help you make sure you're not missing those intervals. In front of me is a Time Cutter 75750. This is one of my favorite Time Cutters they make. It has a little Kawasaki engine on it. It's a 50 inch fab deck, it has three blades. It's powerful, it's kind of simple. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it has what you really want. An excellent engine and a good strong deck. This is a great machine for anybody looking for a nice Time Cutter. So to install this hour meter, it's super simple. All you have to do is lift up the seat. It just holds right there. To get the hour meter, all you gotta do is go to your local Toro dealer ask for an hour meter kit for a time cutter. It's part number 116, 54, 61, and they all install the same way. It's super duper simple. I'm gonna show you, you don't really need any tools other than a knife. So if we open this up, there's just two items in here. There's a small instruction manual and then your hour meter. And the hour meter just has three prongs on the back and you're only really gonna utilize, I think two of those. And then it just clicks into place, it's very, very simple. And then your instructions. First things first is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna to have to cut out where the hour meter is gonna go. Basically, you're gonna feel this sticker right next to your throttle. You can kind of just push down, and as you push down, you'll see the rectangle appear, and you're gonna cut that out. You can use a razor blade, you can use a sharp knife. Go out with my handy dandy Leatherman. No sponsorships yet, but come on Leatherman, hook me up. Basically, you can kind of do a little X pattern from corner to corner, and then trim out the rest of the square. Find the corner, don't wanna cut my thumb, slide it down to that corner, All right? And then I cut that square out. You can kind of create those lines. It doesn't have to be uber pretty because your meter is going to cover some of your botched cutting work. Perfect. Simple as that. And don't click your hour meter in quite yet. Then you're going to reach down and on your harness that comes out of the control panel, underneath your ignition switch, you'll see a red wire and two black wires, and they're gonna be on the outside of your wire loom. There's some electrical tape here. You're gonna unwrap your electrical tape, and that's the harness that's gonna plug into the bottom of your hour meter. And basically, you're gonna fish your wiring harness up through your control panel. Now, you could take this panel off, but it's really not necessary. And I wanna make sure I have my little hourglass on the left hand side and my hours on the right and I hook it right in here make sure you get it seated all the way down to the composite at the bottom and that's it now I fit it back in here and I just click it into place that's my professionally installed hour meter now I can keep track of my hours and my maintenance and hopefully own this machine for years and years to come and take good care of it Guys, if you like this content, check out the rest of our videos on Main Street Mower channel. Please like and subscribe. It helps this video go a little further. Have a good day.